Hi readers, happy day. It's been a while. I was so lucky today to get to see some of my friends play soccer and a grown up at the soccer game said, my kid still loves listening to your videos. And that went straight to my heart. And I said, I must make a new video today, thinking of how happy that made me that people are watching these videos. So I have a few books to share. Here's my collection of some of my Halloween and fall books from my house that I just brought into my classroom. And I picked a few and we'll see how many we get through. I'm fighting a little bit of a cold. So my voice sounds a little bit different and um, hopefully it will let me read the books. But if not, we'll just stop. Pete the Cat, Five Little Pumpkins by James Dean. And I have a prediction that you know the story of the Five Little Pumpkins and you could even say it along with this book, which would be really nice. I love reading this book to children of all ages um, and even acting out this story. And some of you may have done that with me before. Pete the Cat, Five Little Pumpkins. Five Little Pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. There's Pete with his watch and the bird with a watch. I wonder what time late is. It's dark out, but it gets pretty dark pretty early lately, so it might not be too late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. Sometimes it says there are bats in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, I don't know what it says. Let's run and run and run. I love that pumpkins are running even though they don't have feet. Maybe they're rolling. Let's roll and roll and roll. The fifth one said, Arr, I'm ready for some fun. Got their trick or treat bags. With the wind. And. Out went the lights. Look at all the faces. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. That's a different way to roll out of sight. Rolling on their skateboards with Pete the Robot. Happy Halloween. Love it. That is one version of the story of the Five Little Pumpkins. I don't have the other version here. It must still be at my house. It's a board book, so I don't think I brought it into my class. Okay, I have two other books that I wanted to read to you today, and I think I'm only going to have the stamina and the time to read one. Here are the two books that I brought. How Big Could Your Pumpkin Grow, which I think I've read before on here, and Skeleton Hiccups, which is the one that I'm going to go with today. Does anybody have a skeleton at their house? I have like a mini one, but I'd love a real one. Like a, not a real one, not real bones. I do not want real bones in my house, but I'd love a life-size skeleton to do some funny things with. Skeleton Hiccups by Marjorie Culler. Skeleton woke up. Hick, hick, had the hiccups. Hick, hick. Hick, hick, hick. Took a shower. Brushed his teeth. Hick, hick, hick. There they go. Is he then? I think there's something in the teeth, like a little bug. Guess that's what happens when you're buried underground. Polished his bones. Hick, hick, hick. Carved a pumpkin. Hick, hick, hick. Oh, hiccups are the worst, but they also make me laugh. When people have the hiccups, I tend to giggle. Raked some leaves. It says hick, 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 but I should be going, because that's really what it's like. Played with ghost. Hick, hick. Ghost told Skeleton, hold your breath. <gasps> Eat some sugar. Yeah. Look at the sugar going right through the skeleton. Press your fingers over your eyeballs. Yeah. Drink some water upside down. Yeah. Ghost made a face. Yeah. 
he said, boo, to skeleton. Yuck. But nothing worked. Yuck. The hiccup stayed. Yuck. Then ghost got smart. Work smarter, not harder. Found a mirror. Yuck. Held it up. Yuck. Skeleton screamed. Yuck. And all the hiccups went flying away. The hiccups left. Yuck. Yuck. They jumped away. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. No more hiccups for skeleton. Thankfully, I don't have them. I never get hiccups. Do you get hiccups? It's very rare for me to get the hiccups. All right, there's the books. They're loaded up for Monday. I'm going to go home and read my own book for a little while because it's kind of a, a dreary day outside. I hope that you have a safe and happy Halloween, no matter what you do. Maybe that's staying home and carving pumpkins with your family or going trick-or-treating or going to a party or doing something with a friend. I hope that it's really fun. I am going to dress up and maybe, maybe I'll read another book when I'm in my costume. Okay, friends, have a great day. Keep reading.